guard. This here's Charlie. He got stomped in a stampede started by the thunder and lightning you set on us. We ain't blaming you, Lord. I reckon Charlie ain't either. Just telling you how it was. We never knew who he was nor where he come from. We never asked. He was a good hand on the trail and he done his share of chores around the camp. He earned his 30 month and keep and never caused any trouble. May he rest in peace. Amen. Brazos? How does a man get out of this kind of life? Well, let's see now. Fella could always marry the boss's daughter if he had any. Find a lonesome widow with a bit put by. Rob a train or a bank or something. Can't you think of any honest way to make a living? Sam, you know I ain't honest. You know how I rig with them Dalton boys. Yeah, you mentioned it a couple times. Brad Dalton himself said that I was the destroyer and winner of the prairie. He never said truer words, neither. <laughs> <laughs> if you're all so far and set on being honest, you can work another ten years like Rance did and save you money. Did Rance save money? Four thousand dollars. Most every cent he made in the past ten years. Next year, you'll still be eating saleratus, biscuits, and trail dust. Rance, he'll have his own spread. Ten years? Brazos' notions are a lot quicker. You marry a widder or you rob a bank or something. Better stick to marry him. Robbing banks ain't healthy. There's some do all right. You just look at Bill Doolin and his boys. Well, you're not taking Brazos and his lives serious, are you? Well, it seems to me anything's better than what happened to old Charlie. It ain't fair. It ain't fair for a man to be born with nothing and never get nothing and die like nothing. Outlaws running from the hang rope. The hang rope. Outlaws running from the gun. The gun. Outlaws paying to the back trail, hiding from the sun. sun. Away from the sun. But there's no use hiding when the law starts riding. And there's no use running when the law starts gunning for the outlaws. The outlaws. Oklahoma Territory. A new wild country, flooded overnight by tens of thousands in the great land rush of 1889. And with the homesteaders came the outlaws, land grabbers, train robbers, murderers. President Grover Cleveland took action, appointed Frank Kane, Chief United States Marshal. We were his deputies. This is our story. This is the way it happened. Well, I take it you didn't get him. Heck and I rambled around for two days trying to pick up his trail, but we... Couldn't do any good. For a bank clerk, he's sure slippery, Mr. Kane. It's like he went straight up in the air. Yeah. Well, you two stay here in Guthrie till we get a lead. We'll pick him up sooner or later. But most likely not till he goes through that money. Trail. We come in with uh, 825. There's your tally book. Gotta hand it to you, Rance. Good job, just like always. I got another herd in two months. Well, sir, um, I guess I won't be bossing herd for you anymore, Mr. Sorley. This last drive's wages gives me enough to buy those two sections I optioned. The Barlow place? Right. That's a mighty sweet piece of land. You sure you got enough money to stock it? I got $4,000 in the savings bank. That's a lot of money to come by on trail boss wages. Good luck, boy. Thanks. Well, I guess everything's all set here. The boy's been paid off? Yes, sir, this morning. They're getting drunk now. They'll be in jail by tonight. Hey, Miss Hender. Whiskey. Likewise. Make it three. Oh, that's rank. Snake pies. Sweet out of Bob 
barbed wire and sheet dip. Let's have another. the cashier. He skedaddled with the bank funds. Wait a minute. B deck. I don't know him. No, nobody else does either. Not well enough, anyhow. Oh, I guess they'll catch up with him someday. Wait a minute. Where do I go for my money? Mister, you don't go any place for it. It's gone, along with B decker Square with your rats. There's not much chance you'll you'll ever see that money again. Beds okay, boys? Well, you boys are in for breach of peace. You likewise did considerable damage in the Idle Hour Saloon. If I take you before the U.S. Commission, it'll cost you 30 days. If you pay the damages, the Idle Hour people will drop the charges. Now, what do you say? Uh, Marshal, we're a plum clean busted. Well? Yes, sir. Guess you better take them down. Doggone it, I... Sure wish old Rance is here to get us out of this one. Marshal Kane, what are the damages? Thirty dollars. If, if I loan you boys the thirty dollars, will you pay it back? Well, uh, we appreciate it, Deputy, but uh, I don't know when we're going to get our hands on that kind of money. Well, next time you're in town. That all right with you, Mr. Kane? Oh, it's okay with you. It don't hurt me. All right, boys, you can go, but don't get in any more trouble. Oh, oh uh, no, sir. Oh, no, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You want to give me the thirty, or take it to the saloon keeper? Oh. Um. You, uh, 
You think maybe I could have an advance on my wages, Mr. Kane? I, I could pay it back $2 a month for the next year. through and uh, smelt your coffee. Yeah. Well, say, it's boiling over. What are you doing here, Rance? We thought you'd be off buying your spread by now. Well, we was hoping that we could go to work for you on your new spread. Now, we know you're just starting out and everything, but... Uh, Feel all right? I stole my money. You, you mean the money you were saving for your own spread? I worked 10 years for that money. I saved it out of trail boss wages. I spent $6.60 a month on myself. It's about as little as a man can spend and keep a shirt on his back. I never went to town on payday. I never got happy drunk. I never bought no drinks for a woman. I was saving all them things for later. Hey, what are you going to do, man? Yeah? Somebody's got $4,000 of my money. I'm going to get it back. It's a sight of money. How are you going to do it? I'm going to take it. Well, that's our train. Go. <coughs> oh. Yeah, go. Oh. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Who are you going to take it from, Rance? You better get. Come on, Billy. No, wait a minute. We got time. I don't do it, Rance. I'll tell you how old Bill Doolin would have done it. He'd get himself three or four good men. And then he'd set himself down where the express has got to stop for water. Pretty soon the old train pops in. Nobody noticing. And... Hands up! How much you figure to get on a job like that? Billy, let's get out of here. No! Doolin's got $36,000. For this one real old train job. $36,000. I just want the 4000 they owe me. If I don't get it right off, they're going to sell my spread to somebody else. I'm going to do it. You, you mean really do it? It's your idea. Hmm. Yeah, but it's taking such an awful chance. Chance? Well, you take chances every day. Have your horse spooks and breaks your neck. There's a hundred different ways a man can get killed, trailing and herd for 30 a month and found. But why not one chance for a real stake? One chance to get everything you ever wanted. Well, that's true enough, but we'll have to do a lot of, a lot of planning. Are you with me, Brazos, or not? Sure, I'm with you. Sam? No, sir. You count Billy and me out. Now, listen, Sam. Old Rance always knowed what he was doing. All we have to do is follow him. This is quick and it's clean. It beats trail hurting a thousand ways to Sunday. So nobody's counting me out. Well. Send a message. Oh, sorry, we don't send private messages, mister. Go inside.
Stretching your legs, gentlemen? That's right, stretching our legs. Now you stretch your arms. You. Get up in that engine, be ready to go when I tell you. Billy, go with him. Here, here, come on. You. You break this train right behind the express car. Do like he says. I'll remember you if we ever meet again. Go ahead. Now get up on that platform. Don't make no noise about it. What are you going to do? I'm going to borrow your engine for a spell. Open up, will you? What's wrong, Pete? Just open up and I'll tell you. Hold your horses, Pete. I'll have her open in a minute. Get out of here. Come on. What are you talking about? Reyes. Reyes, he's gone plain crazy. He's like he killed two men already. We started this, and we're going to see it through. And we sure can't run out on Rance. There's a hurt man in there with them charges. Here,
much was in there? 22,000. It's all there. Just what did they get? Just some silver that wasn't in the safe. <laughs> what do you make of it, Will? Good. Looks like some ambitious beginners trying to hand a train robbery. Why do you say that? Well, the way they killed the only man that could open that safe. And the mess they made trying to blow it open. It's a bot's job all the way around, Marshal. Mr. Kane, can you come out here a moment? Yeah. Mr. you tell Mark Kane what you just told me. Well, this is their wagon, all right. I guess they figured they didn't need it when they didn't get the safe open. Where's the horse? It's over there. I heard one of them, the big one, tell somebody else to turn it loose so it wouldn't suffer. Tender-hearted, wasn't he? Killed a man, but wouldn't let a horse stand in the shafts. Well, there must have been somebody in that outfit that's soft-hearted. I'd have been in there when the dynamite blew. This is one of Charlie Grubb's nags. Why, that's my horse. Where did you find her? Who took her out, Charlie? By the trail boss from the Sorry Ranch. Rance Hollister? Aye, a real nice lad. And a steady sort, too. Is that how you got the horse? Anything happened to Rance? Not yet. Why, well, he's about the steadiest man I know. Well, he took it pretty hard when the bank closed. It looks like that's what set him off. Yeah. Must have drove him crazy losing all that money. He was gonna buy the Barlow place 20 miles south of here. Never saw a man with such a hanker for his own spread. Place. Think we might try to hold up there, Uncle Willie? No. Uh, don't think they're going to hold up anywhere for a while. As long as they're sound and got good horses on them, they're going to keep running. Running, running. If you want something, I'll get it out for you. Come in here, pick it up anything you want. What's the matter for you? Damn, that horse big enough to drive a steam engine through. That boy needs a doctor. Bad. 
Did you talk to Ramsey? That's when we can talk about Billy. He's over there figuring out another job. Another job? I think we all ought to clear out and let him go alone. Well, we can't do that. See him, he's going sour. He, he's sick in the head. That's why we can't. Can't leave him anymore than if he was the one with the bullet hole in him. We gotta do something about Billy. You know anything about Doctor and Rance? I sure you do. I see you, Doctor Critter, as good as any vet. That's pretty good. Yep. I always said Rance is as good as any bet, didn't I, Sam? I always said that. Ain't nothing serious. It's just a scratch. You can put a bandage on her. And I'll be all right tomorrow. No. What are you doing? He ain't fit to travel. I don't want to leave him. He suffered too much. Well, we ain't gonna leave him. Well, I ain't do it, Sam. I don't want to die. You ain't gonna die, really. Howdy, boys. You better put out that fire. Makes finding him mighty easy. Who are you? Squire's the name. Jethro Squires. My, my. You've been some shot up, ain't you, Sonny? This boy needs doctoring. What are you after, mister? After? My neighbor ain't after a thing. Don't you go shoot? Says he aims to help, Rance. We need help. Bless you, boy. Maybe he's trying to get us into a trap. Why, ain't even carrying a gun. Billy needs help. Bad enough for us to listen to him anyway. What's your proposition? Well, I can take you where you can get doctrine for the boy and lay low till he's ready to move on. There'll be a small charge, of course. It's all right, but you have to move fast. Once inside, go upstairs so that nobody will see you. and get me a good big bunch of cobwebs. I have to get that slug out of him. No! Oh, don't you mind, kid. I've taken out more lead than you have years. You go downstairs and tell the professor I want some loud music. And tell him I mean loud. <laughs> Good. 
saddle up and get in a couple days. Well, it's awful expensive staying here. That Mrs. Star, she wants forty dollars a day. He ain't got it. <sighs> What's the matter, Billy? Oh, Lord, Sam, I can't ride anymore. I feel terrible. Ah, it won't be too bad. Rance says he knows a place where he's gonna buy his spread. Not too far, and it's good and quiet. We can lay up there till you get better. And then we can move on. Well, where are we gonna go? I don't know, Billy. We just got to keep moving. I used to think being on the Dodge is going to be fun. It ain't no fun at all, Sam. It ain't no fun at all. They're worth $5,000, dead or alive. $5,000. That's nice wages for a night's work. They're at Ruby Stars. Sure feels good to have a spell of quiet. You know, it was always this way when I was riding with them dolphins. Why, we'd pull us a job, and then after all the shooting and the riding and the yelling was over, yeah. it was like a drink of cool water to feed to a quiet again. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny, Ruby. Life sure is funny. Where's Squires? No, I ain't watching him. Where is he? Like I just said, I don't know. Perhaps let's get the horses. Now, wait a minute, Rance. Get the horses. Sam? Sam, it's getting light. We got to go before sun up. No, we can't move him. It'll kill him. That squire's. He's in with the rest of them. He's trying to keep me from getting my money. He's going to get the law on us. Time on his horse. I'm the original bad wind of the prairie and I... What this happened? This morning, I was with the posse. This the only man killed? Only one of them. We had a man shot dead. 
and the rest of the gang, which way they head. Southerly. All right, let's go, Hex. Oh, there's a reward, ain't there? You get in touch with Guthrie. He'll take care yeah. of you. Yeah, that's right. That's Guthrie. Uh -huh. Doorkeeper said subtly. Could mean they're heading for Texas, maybe the Mexican border. I don't think so. I think Rance is heading for home now. Home? You mean the ranch south of Guthrie? Yep. He's got one man dead. He's got another one pretty badly shot up. I'll bet he'll go to ground if it ranch he worked ten years to get. Charlie got killed in a stampede. I thought anything would be better to die like that. Oh, harsh with you. But this is worse, Sam. I die like I am is worse. You ain't gonna die. I thought... I thought being an outlaw... It's gonna be fun. But it ain't no fun. Sam, it's dirty and it's hard. And it's mean. Look, you're just talking yourself into a fever is all you're doing. Killing ain't no fun. They stopped here to put the hurt man on a trappy drag. Calm down, Uncle Willie. Mm. We ought to catch him by dusk now. What's the matter with you? We gotta rest. Well, that's it. Just over the ridge, Sam, it's the prettiest valley in the world. I ain't got another step in me. You have to go alone. Sam, listen to me. It's just a step. It's just to the top of that hill. And from there on, it's all down grade. And just wait till you see it, Sam. Monster! This is Marshal Foreman! I'm asking you to give up! You gonna give it up? No. Go ahead. It don't matter anyway. I'd appreciate some help for Billy. He's that hurt. dead.
direction. You never seen such grass. Sweet water the whole year round. Didn't I tell you that? You ever see the light? It's ours. Yours. Billy's. Rather. We'll stock it. In five years, we'll have the best herd in Oklahoma. It's the prettiest valley in the world. Everything we ever wanted. Lance Hollister and Billy William Hooten. Them and Rogers and me, we robbed a train, and this is what it's brought us to. Billy and Brothers, they done it for fun. I guess. At least they thought it was going to be, but it wasn't. And Rance, he done it because the money for his land was took from him, and he wanted that land. So bad that the one of elector broke him. And me, well, I told myself that I'd go along and see the others got to it all right, but Lord, I guess you know. And deep down, I thought it was a lot of money. I don't guess that any one of us meant to hurt anybody. Uh, so if you could bear that in mind when you tally the book. I'd be awfully grateful. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking that all we ever got out of this was $120. Think of that, Mr. Foreman, $120. What's so remarkable about that? Well, don't you see, Mr. Foreman, that breaks down to 30 apiece for the four of us. That's wages, Mr. Foreman, 30 a month. It's a hard way to make a living. You may be cash on the trigger, oh, you may be lightning on the draw. Come sooner or later, you figure to tangle with the law. You're playing in a losing game. In the end, Outlaws, paying to the backfield, hiding from the 